Hi, this is Mike from the YouTube channel Corkle Trees. Uh, Corkle Trees is basically uh, devoted to bonsai trees and all the disciplines that uh, surround the bonsai world. Um, this is my secondary channel, it's called Corkle Trees Reviews, and it's basically uh, me reviewing the, the equipment that I use when I film my videos. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Power to Wise Lavalier Microphone. Uh, I got this microphone a couple days ago and I'm actually loving it. It's a really great microphone. The microphone comes in this box. When you open it up, you get this pouch. Inside the pouch, you get the microphone. The, the length of the cord is pretty decent. It's uh, 59 inches long and uh, you get an extension cord with it, which is 79 inches long. Um, this, if you don't have a digital recorder and you're going to be recording directly into your, your camera, it's, 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 it's pretty cool because you can actually reach your camera. Beside that, you get the adapter that I was talking to you about. You get it included with this microphone. You don't have to purchase it separately. This adapter enables you to uh, hook this sort of a mic that was made for cell phones and tablets into a normal stereo plug. Uh, you get two extra microphone uh, wind mufflers. And obviously uh, the mic, uh, all the sound that you're listening to right now comes from the mic. I'm using it right now. So uh, to um, tell you the difference between using a microphone and using the built-in microphones from the, whatever cameras you're using, um, I'm going to give you this example. Right now you're listening to the sound coming from the built-in speaker from an iPhone. The audio you're listening to now comes from a Motorola Moto G. It's also the built-in microphone. And right now, you're listening to the audio coming from the microphone from my GoPro Hero, Hero 4 Black Edition. The audio from the GoPro built-in mic is pretty bad. Uh, GoPros weren't built to handle great audio. They were built to handle great imaging, great videos in a sports setting. So uh, the, the, the audio coming from it is, is, is not pretty good. Uh, with, with the cell phones, it's, it's a little bit better because you get a little more volume to it. But still, I mean, when you get a little, a little wind or something like that, uh, you get all the, the from the wind coming into your, to your recordings. When I started out on YouTube, I started recording with the microphone, with the built-in microphone from the iPhone. And uh, sound uh, became an issue from the beginning because I record mainly uh, outdoors. I'm, right now I'm basically outdoors. I have this white screen behind me, but I mean, there's no, there's basically no walls around me. And uh, I have another place that I record, which is the other side of my house. That's totally 100% outdoors. And the wind and the noise and the distortion coming uh, that I was getting from that microphone, from the iPhone microphone, made me started looking into other solutions. And um, I quickly got the need to get a digital recorder to uh, record my audio separately from the video camera and obviously uh, a microphone. I bought another microphone from another brand which I've been using for the past uh, six months and it's, 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 it's not bad, it's pretty good, but um, after a couple of days of using this power device microphone, uh, I'm, I'm really glad I got it because it's really a good microphone. Uh, I saw another guy on, on YouTube, uh, this guy. He made a, a review on the power device microphone and uh, his final verdict was that uh, this other microphone, I think it was a, a, a U-mic, yes, it was a U-mic, uh, that the U-mic was better be, uh, because of, uh, of microphone sensibility terms. Uh, he argues that the other microphone was picking up more sound than this one. Me personally, I don't want my, my lavalier microphone picking up everything around me because uh, usually on, on, on the Corkle Trees channel, I explain a lot of technical stuff. And uh, since I usually do it outdoors, I don't want it. I don't want it, my microphone picking up the sounds of, uh, of the cars I live about a click away from major highway. I don't want it, the microphone to pick up the sounds of, of buses and horns. Uh, there's a bunch of kids that live around my house. I don't want the microphone picking them up because it's a distraction from, from what I'm trying to explain in my videos. So actually, uh, if, if you, most of the audio you've been listening to on this video comes from the power device microphone. And uh, as you've already been able to um, to hear or listen is that not much of the ambient noise that's around me goes into the mic. It's basically my voice. I'm going to do another test here and I'm going to go to the other side of my house where I usually uh, film 
and uh, there's a little bit of wind right now so uh, the built-in microphone from the iPhone and the other phone are going to be picking up all that wind distortion hopefully and you're going to be able to uh, hear the difference with this mic. This is a secondary location where I shoot my Corkal Trees videos. In this location I usually have to get further away from the camera that uh, I usually am when I film in the other location. So as the further that I get away, the, the microphone from the iPhone and from the GoPro, that's when I start getting problems and I need to do post uh, editing on the audio for a long time to get it fixed. But ever since I started using a lavalier microphone uh, into a digital recorder, you could even do it into a cell phone. All those problems are fixed. Right now there's a little wind coming through and uh, probably right now you're listening to all that distortion that gets into the built-in microphone from the iPhone. But those problems are solved when you get a microphone like this. See, there's wind coming through and the wind actually muffles my voice on the built-in microphone but since this microphone is so close to me and it has a built-in compressor uh, the, the issues with the wind are, are basically gone you could still hear some wind going into this microphone probably but not as much as on the microphone from the iPhone or the GoPro or any built-in microphone uh, high-end cameras are not built to handle sound very well if you have a high-end camera uh, the manufacturers of the of the camera assume that you are going to have also a high-end sound system so they actually they have built-in microphones in order for you to be able to synchronize the sound instead of getting great sound when you have a, a youtube channel like i do uh, what you want to get is great video and great sound because you can film in 4k all day long but if your sound is crappy i mean you're not you, your audience is not going to watch your videos for a long time Okay, so I'm going to run another quick test for you guys, which is uh, basically running this mic through uh, two cell phones. Uh, so you can compare the difference between using the built-in microphone of a cell phone and using uh, a lavalier mic, in this case, uh, the power device. So uh, first up, I'm going to speak into this cheap, cheap, cheap LG phone, which is very old as well. So uh, start recording. So this is me speaking into the LG phone. Now this is me speaking into the same phone, but going through the power device mic. Sounds a lot better, doesn't it? This is my voice going through the built-in mic of a Motorola Moto G phone. Now this is the sound of my voice going through the power device mic into the phone. And now I'm back to my, my digital recorder. So um, that, was, that was the difference between using the, the built-in microphone of, a, of two cell phones. If you don't have the option of hands-free calling in your car, this is a great option to not having to hold the phone in your hand while you're driving, which is not safe at all. So this was my review for the Power Device Lavalier microphone. It's a pretty, pretty good microphone. Uh, this is the microphone that I'm going to be using from now on on the Corkle Trees channel. You can't beat the quality for the price. I mean, this thing cost uh, 22, 25 bucks on Amazon. And um, considering you can spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a, on a pro lavalier mic, one that gives you excellent quality of sound for a couple bucks, I mean, it, it's a no-brainer. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.